Good morning, everybody. What's up, Joshua? Thanks for coming in, bud. I appreciate you. Get this centered up here. Cool. We're going to wait for some people to stop in. Got some announcements. Got some questions to ask. We'll see what happens here in a few minutes. See if anybody shows up. Yeah, so uh, today what we're doing is uh, I just wanted to get on, on a live with you guys, connect with you guys again. I haven't been uh, on live for a while. Uh, just let you know what's what's going on on my channel and uh, what's happening, you know, around and what's coming up and future events on my channel this year. So we're going to sit back here and we're going to wait for a little bit here, get some people rolling. Joshua was in here. Okay, we can add moderators. That's a good thing. And this is a vertical. So I'm just trying to do this uh, vertical today to see what happens. Let me move that right about there. I got some new colorants that I got. I wanted to show you guys. Got a bunch of different colors here that I have. H&S, what's up, brother? Thank you for coming in, man. Just doing a vertical, going live this morning for uh, just to connect with you guys again, let you know what's going on on the channel. I know you know because you follow me. I'm a great supporter of the channel, so I really appreciate that, brother. Um, but I got to want to make let's yeah, let you know some events. You know, you've seen probably the stuff that I posted the last couple of days. I'm going to go over that with people. Um, I got some new colors in the mail from Dead on Plastics. As you can see, I'm shaking them up now. I'll show you guys some. Indiana Chris, what's up, brother? Thank you for coming in. And, uh, you know, just letting you guys know what's coming, what's heading uh, this summer for fishing, what the events that I'm doing, the events that are coming up. And I want to get your opinions on a few things. So I really wanted to ask you your opinion. I, go, I even got my glasses today, guys. I don't know. You've never seen me in my glasses. So I got my glasses on today. If I need to look at my labels for my, <laughs> for my, uh, for my colorants to explain, you know, if anybody has any questions about them, if I have to go into the fine print on these labels, I could see them. So yeah, man, a lot of good stuff, a lot of exciting stuff coming up here on my channel. Uh, I think I got a, I had a good idea the other day, and and I got to give credit where credit is due. Um, my favorite fisherman is like Scott Martin, and uh, glasses look nice. Thanks. Uh, my, my favorite bass fisherman, Scott Martin. Um, him, Ike, and Ellie, like, I like them, but it's... A, hey, what's up, Rocco? Yeah, turkeys are coming up. That's coming. Actually, you season's next weekend, so I'm trying to finagle some stuff around to uh, to get my son out. So we're going to see how that works out. Is my uh, audio is good in my video? Is everything good with you guys? Chris, Rocco, and h &S. if you can give me a thumbs up or let me know the audio is okay. Do I have to adjust the gain or anything, or is the volume and everything okay? Please let me know in the chat here if you can. All right, cool. That's good to know. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like the vertical lives just for stuff like this. Um, I don't like doing it for fishing or anything like that. Um, I think the studio live looks better. And uh, watch time and everything's a little bit goofy with that stuff too as well with the verticals and as opposed to the studio live. And I say studio meaning horizontal. I just call it studio. Sound more professional that way. A video and sound are on point. Okay, good. I'm glad that everything is good uh, for you guys. Uh, my season opened up this past week and it was so awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, uh, there's turkey. What happens here, it's April 24th for, uh, hey Amanda, thank you for coming in. Appreciate you. Um, it starts in May, May 4th is when it starts here in PA, but the kids is April 27th, the youth, but the beginning of May, they're, they were in full strut, man. I'm, I wish it, I mean, I wish it was the beginning of April because I think it would be, a, it would be a lot easier. Now I like the challenge. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot, uh, that's the time they're, they're going after the hens. Um, they're strutting. I mean, they were down my street. They're walking through the street. They go in people's yards, you know, they're, they're going past the dogs, they don't care, um, so that's, they're really on high, uh, it's high impact at the beginning of April, so I don't know why they, uh, why they don't do that, I think it's because they let them lay, well, 
we were only allowed to hunt till noon as well in springtime here in PA. So I don't know how your schedules are there. And uh, so we're only allowed to hunt till noon. And that's because they lay their eggs so the hens can get back on the nest for their uh, poults or whatever. So they, uh, they do that. My setup was just off a tad bit. Yeah, Rocco, you'll get that, man. I've had many, many times in the morning where uh, we, uh, we've set up on turkeys. You know, we put them to bed at night. That's a key, too, Rocco. I don't know if you do that or not, but you want to go put them to bed. That's what we call it, putting them to bed. Uh, the night before, you go out, you know, when it's getting dark out, you throw an owl hoot or a crow call out, and you'll hear the turkeys gobbling in the trees, and you'll have the area where they're at. And you want to set up. You don't really, I don't like to get in there. I, I have gotten in there within 50 yards of a tree that they're in, but you I usually try to be about 100 yards away from the trees that they're roosting to try to stay away. And a big, big mistake, and I learned this from a turkey caller who is a competition turkey caller. Uh, you don't call too loud. Uh, he One day we were out, uh, his son shot a 23 pound turkey and I used to invite him down to camp. They, they've been doing their own thing for the last couple of years, but he, he, uh, he calls in turkey competitions and he, and my buddy, uh, Tony said, Hey, you know, I want to get my dad and come down and he'll get us on some turkeys, you know, call him. He's a great caller. So, and I knew he was, and, uh, we set up in the morning and he called and I could hardly hear him. He was 50, 40 yards away from me. And I could hardly hear him, and I'm like, what the heck is he doing, you know? And all of a sudden, man, it lit up in the woods, and uh, it just it just got crazy. And here, a 23-pound turkey comes strutting across, and boom, my buddy Tony shot him. One of the biggest turkeys we ever got down there. I'm doing great, Amanda. How are you? How are you? So first thing, while there's a few people in here, uh, I, I just got to order in with my colors. Uh Hello, man. Sorry, that got me talking turkey. Uh, so I got some colors, and these are from Bait Plastics. I got the Chartreuse. I needed a new one of those. I got a new color that I didn't have, and it's called Monkey Milk. And that's more of a pearl. Pearlescent. It's just a, it's an off-white color. It's almost like a see-through, but it's a, and that's also from Bait Plastics, the Monkey Milk. I got a color changing color now this is from dead on plastics and i get all my plastic and everything from them this is called heisengard and that is a blue but it changes colors as you go uh, it's really cool with the light so i got that um i wanted that for some of my uh, pitching baits and things like that so i have the that one and these dead on plastics are top notch this is coco right there from dead on plastics and they have a an actual ball in there you can hear that it's uh, it really, you know, it's a really a high end coloring, and believe me, it's high end. It's you pay for it too, but uh, it's uh, got a mixer in it, which is nice. So that's the cocoa. Then we got. I did not get your email yet. When did you send the email, man? I'm sorry if. Did you just send it? And then I got a. Let me see. I'll take you these ones here. I don't know if you just sent it or not. Last week. I don't think I got it, Amanda. You might have to uh, email me again, hon. I'm sorry that I didn't get it. Um, and you went to my Ted Polonowski Jr. at gmail.com. You may need to email me again. I'm sorry for that if I missed it. But I didn't see any email come through. And then I got a, one. It's called Chewy. And that's more of a bright pink. I wanted to try that color out. Instead of a fluorescent pink, this is like a chewy. It's all good. I'll email. Yeah, email me again, Amanda. Uh, so that is that. Uh, we got brown. I wanted a brown color. So we got brown. Yeah, Amanda, we got the pink. This is not, I don't think this is a fluorescent. This is a little bit of a different pink. So we got that. I know you like the pink colors. Then I got white. I needed more white. White's a tough color to work with, though. I like doing white, like plain white. But when you add, uh, when you start adding glitters and stuff, actually, even though the colors don't bleed, they say they don't bleed, the glitter, sometimes the colors will come on in, in your white. And as you make baits, if you don't make a bunch of them in one batch, as you keep reheating it, the colors seem to fade into the white and change that color. 
So I went, and then I got a, a really, really, really cool color that I'm going to use, and it's called Yukon, and it's a pearl effect. And it's a Yukon color. It's almost like a gold. And I want to use this to make my golden shiners for our... Uh, we have a tournament June 9th. I actually got to mill that in today before I go to work, uh, the application, to, to get in and put our get our uh, boat number and everything. But this is called Yukon from then on. Really cool stuff. Um, I do recommend... That will look good with the pink. Yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm going to... I think I'm going to add some glitter to this too. Hey, Gary, how are you, buddy? Thank you for coming in, buddy. I haven't talked to you in a long time, buddy. I hope everything is well. I see you're out there run, going everywhere, man. You're traveling. I really like your stuff. I've been watching it and commenting on most of your stuff, but you're a busy guy moving in. I know you're working, too. What's up, Crossover? Thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you. So I hope all is well, Gary. Really appreciate you coming in. If you guys haven't hit that like button, please do so. Living the dream. I bet you are, Gary. I bet you are, buddy. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, I know you always say you could be doing better, but you get up every morning, man. Just go after it, man. If anybody uh, hasn't seen uh, Gary with the jailbait and tackle outdoors, go over there and check him out. He's always putting out some good stories and some information. He's been doing a lot of, uh, he's been visiting places and things like that and uh, giving you a little history or a little story behind it. So it's really interesting. So go over and check out Gary. So, but yeah, those are the colors that I got, but the Yukon is going to be for the Golden Shiner. I think that's going to be a really neat pattern. And I, I, I sort of do my bait making sort of like, I don't want to say I'm out of line or anything, but I don't go by the book when I'm making my baits. Uh, and now there's some recipes and things like that I follow, and you have to follow to get the right colors. But there's a lot of times I'm always tweaking things and doing things my own way which makes it custom. So, and I really enjoy doing that. And that's why I call it the bait lab because I'm always down there experimenting and testing and things like that. So thank you hunting and stuff for uh, sharing Gary's uh, link there. Hey, if you guys, uh, Amanda was talking about my hats. Um, if you guys haven't went over and talk, checked out my, uh, my store, my apparel store, you can get some hats like this. I got new hats working on. See how this logo is right in the middle? Well, I got some, uh, uh, Richardson's 112 is coming out where those, this logo is going to be on the left side of my hat, I believe. And uh, I'm going to make, I got hats coming out, new hats, and then I have some visors as well. And then all my, sh my shirts, they don't have it on the website yet, but they do have the logo going down. The artist is trying to work on getting that on my pictures, the logo with the, uh, with the off the hook down the sleeve. And it's really, I guess it's really hard to do. Yeah, it doesn't send to Australia. I guess it doesn't do that. So what we'll have to do, Amanda, is like I think I told you that before. That's probably why you emailed me. Was uh, you'll have to send me what you want, and then I'll order it, and then I'll ship it out, and I'll let you know what the shipping is or whatever. We'll work it out, but I'll get you what you want. Just uh, email me and email me what you want exactly what you want. I'll order it. I'll get it shipped here, and then I'll personally ship it out myself. So we'll do that, Amanda, okay? Visiting a new campground tomorrow in Baker, Florida. No reception in most parts of the forest. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. So, yeah, as you saw the thumbnail. Uh, you're welcome, Amanda. No problem. You're a great supporter. I appreciate you. So we'll get you what you need there. I appreciate you, uh, you know, just supporting my channel and everything you do. So I really do appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Um, so as you can see in my thumbnail, I had two, two original thumbnails that I've posted, uh, from the past week or so. And one is going to be the one bait challenge with, uh, John and Lindy. I'm teaming up with small water charters and we're coming up with a one bait challenge. Uh, and what that's going to do is, uh, excuse me, I'm still looking for people's input. I do have my little black book here. So I'm going to write all my notes in here from you guys because I appreciate all your feedback and I try to take all your suggestions and everything in consideration here at the channel. So uh, what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do a one bait challenge. We were going to do like a bait uh, that I was going to make baits and send out, but I just made a bunch of baits and I sent them out to people that are making testimonial videos for my off the hook uh, website, offthehook.us. 
uh, website where I sell my baits, and that's basically my social media hub where you can find everything about us uh, on that website. Hey, Cheesehead, what's up, Brian? Thank you for coming in. Appreciate you. I know you love this uh, vertical live here, buddy. It's just for you. <laughs> so, um, so I didn't want to make more baits and send them out for the challenge. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a live. We're, well, we were going to do a live stream, depending on how many people join. But the more and more I think about it, I'm going to just do, I think it's easier because not everybody can live stream. And I, I want everybody that can do, at least make videos. If you're on YouTube, you're making media. It's great for giving my friends a hard time. Yeah, it is. Um, so I wanted everybody to be able to take part in it and not everybody live streams or not everybody where they fish can get signal to live stream. Okay. So. What I think we're going to do is we're going to do a one bait challenge. We're going to take everybody's feedback. So when I'm posting this, guys, please, you know, write a comment in there when I'm doing. Go over to my community tab. I use my community tab a bunch for communication with you guys. When I'm not on a live or doing something, I'm always posted on my community tab to connect with you guys, to ask you questions, and just to throw some stuff out there. There's also giveaways on there as well. So make sure you're over there checking out my community tab. If you haven't hit the notifications on my channel to all, Please do that after this live so you can get all the notifications I send out. But um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get everybody's feedback and we're going to pick. It's going to be artificial only, Gary. Correct. It's going to be an artificial bait only. What we're going to do is we're going to ask the people, you know, what kind of baits do you want to use in this? You know, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pick. We're only going to pick one. So. We're going to ask people, you know, soft plastics, top water, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, chatterbaits, jigs, uh, rubber worms, stick baits, you know, swim baits, anything like that we're going to put out there. And we're going to take everybody's feed, you know, everybody's info. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a short video or another live like this. We're going to write all the uh, down. I'm going to put it all into a spin wheel. And then we're going to spin the wheel. And we're going to see what bait we got to use, okay? And then once we pick the bait... What you have to do is wait for me to send you the baits. What we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to pick, you know, after we pick, say, a swim bait. Uh, I'm not going to get too detailed. I think it'll be really, really confusing. And people, there's hundreds and millions of options and hundreds of thousands of options of uh, colors and things like that. So what we're going to, John and I, what we're going to do is we're going to take your information, okay, and, and say we have a top water, uh, a popper. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the popper in the spin wheel. We're going to put the swim baits in the swim. All the baits are going to go in the spin wheel. We're going to spin the wheel. We're going to see what bait it lands on. And then we're going to use that bait. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have everybody's information. And I'm asking you if you want to enter to send me your mailing address, your YouTube channel name, everything like that. Your name, your shipping address, and your YouTube channel name. And I'm going to order the baits and send them to you. And everybody's going to get a pack of the baits. Everybody's going to get the same amount of baits, same color and everything. And we're going to use those baits and make a video. And then with that video, just using them baits, those baits, you're going to send it in. We're going to go and we're going to watch them. And we're going to see. It's sort of like, it's going to be sort of like the, a while ago that I made the uh, YouTube starter kit. Or when I did my uh, make your own bait challenge. So you're going to send your video in. You're going to tag me and John in your video. We're going to have the videos. We're going to post them up to people as we get them. There's going to be a time frame to vote on. So there's going to be a deadline when the video needs to be made. There's going to be a time frame we get to vote. And I will receive all the votes, John and I. We're going to try. We can't really vote on the video. We're going to have to have like a voting uh video so once we get all the videos in we'll watch them we're going to vote on the videos as well i think we're going to even participate in it so i won't vote for myself you know john won't vote for his himself uh we're going to vote for other videos but everybody gets a chance that's in it is going to uh send their vote to me and then we're going to put it out there and we're going to do a live or something and we're going to have all the videos marked and then in my comments and John's comments, we're both share the video out. We're going to take 
the voting on those videos and then we will announce the winner so right now I'm, I'm, I'm asking if anybody I'm not asking you don't have to do anything all you gotta do is enter it's free to enter uh, I'm asking my partners and affiliates right now for prizes for it and I have some that are donating some prizes if anybody wants to donate any kind of money and I don't really like to ask for donations for people but it just seems like this is gonna be a really cool cool uh, contest and I'd like to get as many prizes so we can give as many prizes out as we can if anybody's interested in donating any money you know my PayPal or Venmo is in my description or if anybody would like to donate any prizes for this is pr appreciated and I will make a list of all the uh, do donations on here and then John and I will sit down and we will tally them up and then we will pick you know first second third place and the more prizes we get the more places we can uh we can do so i'd like to get everybody that's entered at least something to leave even for entering so that's what we plan on doing so uh so yeah so keep that in mind guys uh, it's going to be a fun thing i mean nobody cares if you lose win you know it's just going to be a fun thing that we want to do uh and see and get people fishing you know what i mean that's my whole goal is to get people fishing and everything like that so that'll be fun so if anybody has any information or wants to talk to me any more about it in a more detailed way you can definitely uh, email me, or if you have my cell phone number, text me. But I'd like to get as many people as we can in this. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I think we're looking more at uh, doing it probably, because i got another thing coming out too, so it's crazy. And I have a tournament in June, and I think Shane Flint's online tournament is May too. Hey, Charlie, what's up, buddy? Thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you. We're talking about the one bait challenge contest that we're having. Uh, Small Water Charters and I are having uh, coming up here soon. I'm, it's going to probably be a June thing. It's going to probably be June. So, And I'm probably going to start it after June. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I really don't know yet. May is kind of tough. I'm just starting fishing up in my lake. Uh, so I, I was thinking about starting my other thing in May and then probably June, I think we're going to do the uh, do the one bait challenge somewhere around, probably the second week of June, I'm going to say. If everything works out, it'll be after my tournament, I'll be done with that. I still may be in the other tournament, online tournament, but that's fine, I can handle that. So uh, yeah, so if you got, uh, you know, from this, you know, share it out to your friends, let them know, hey, you know, Off the Hook's doing, Off the Hook and Small Waters are doing a one bait challenge. It's going to be really neat. Um, I'm going to post. Keep an eye out. That's why I say everybody in here, at least put your notifications to all on my channel. That way, when I post on my community tab and things like that, I don't even know if you get an alert for the community tab, so you'll probably have to go over and check it out. But uh, I'll announce it you know, through these lives and things like that that I'm doing. Uh, I may make a video as well. But share it out with your friends. Let them know. You know at least tell them word them off for now until you get a video from me or another post. But I want to get as many people in this as possible, and then you're gonna get a, you know, get your say in what bait you want to use, and then we're gonna just put it all on a spin wheel, spin it, pick the bait. I'll buy the baits and send them to you. So anybody that's entering will have to give me their name, their shipping address, and their channel name. And then after that, we will, uh, I will get the baits shipped out to you, and then you are able to, when you receive the baits, start making your videos. We'll have a deadline when the video needs to be made and needs to be turned in. And then we'll have a voting period of a certain amount of maybe two couple weeks. We'll do the voting period and then we will do a live video uh, of vote, you know, of letting people know, letting people know the votes. Uh, hold on one second. What's up? What's up? I'm on my meeting with you. Do you need to look at shit inside? Uh, do, do we need to look at inside or, or outside? Uh, I, can look, look, I, I can look inside. I, I'll be out with you in a little bit. Okay. okay. All, right? All right? All right, cool. Okay, let me look back, yeah. All right, that was my contractor. <laughs> He's looking at my window, so. All right, I'm back. Yeah, my contractor's looking at our windows here, so sorry for the interruption. So, yeah, so that's what it's going to do. It's going to be a... Uh, Thank you for the plug. I all right, thank you for sharing, hunting and stuff. I really appreciate that. So, yeah, so that's going to be that event that's coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that, please. Uh, you know, share it out. Let people know. Uh, we're, I think it's going to be real fun to get into to do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And then uh, the next event, 
what ain't really an event, it's going to be a challenge. It's called Off the Hook Challenge. And I got this, and I got to give credit where credit is due. This is from, uh, like I said, my favorite fisherman. Yeah, and we are doing that, uh, Charlie. We are taking donations for prizes, and if anybody wants to send any money for prizes. Now, I'm not, if, if I get any kind of cash or money donation through my PayPal or Venmo, then I will use that for prizes. I'm going to use it, or I'd use it for like a shipping thing or something, but it's going to go back into the contest. So if anybody wants to send any donations with cash or money, please send it PayPal as friends or family or Venmo me. That's all, all that information will be in this description video, and that information is in all my videos. Uh, if anybody wants to send prizes, all you got to do is email me, let me know what you're sending. I'll put it on a list. I'll write down who, who's donated it and uh, the prize that you want to donate, and then you will definitely get mentioned in all our videos, and people will know that you guys uh, donated to, these, to this event. So appreciate it. Uh, if anybody can do that, that would be awesome, but you don't have to. Um, so then my next, and what I say, I don't want to say event, but it's a challenge. And I thought, I thought it was going to be really cool. Legend 1604. What's up? Thank you for coming in. Uh, the next thing is, and I thought of this and I got an idea. And like I said, I got to give credit where credit is due. And that's from one of my favorite fishermen out there, Scott Martin. And he used to do the Scott Martin challenge and he still does do that. And I think he's on YouTube as well as the Scott Martin challenge. Um, and he's from Florida. He's a Florida guy. And John knows him, and John knows uh, his dad, Roland Martin. You guys probably all know Roland from fishing. He's been on TV for decades. And uh, so, but Scott is a, one of my favorite fishermen. He just, his style and the way he handles himself and the way he fishes, it just fits me. And I've always, always uh, have looked up to like Scott Martin, like, man, I wish I was like him. You know what I mean? Like a role model type deal. So um, he do, does the Scott Martin challenge. Okay, thank you, Charlie. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Thank you very much. And a lot of I have some partners and affiliates that are going to be donating some prizes as well. I think Fish Angler. I also have a hunting company, New View Hunting. They're donating, I think, a, bike, a backpack, a hunting backpack. So there's going to be all different kinds of prizes in this. So, and I'm hoping that everybody that enters can get something from it. That's why I'm asking for people to donate. Because obviously, I, I'd like to buy everything myself, but sometimes that's hard. And, uh, you know, I really don't, you know, I always try to not do that and like ask people for things, but you don't, like I say, you don't have to, but it just, it'll make it more fun for people. And I hope everybody can get a prize for even entering. So that's why I asked uh, on this one. So, um, but the next thing is it's called the off the hook challenge. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, uh, and I'm still working some things out with it, but I think it can be really cool. And I think it'll be interesting for everybody. It doesn't cost anything to enter. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it out there like when I'm fishing, okay? Like when I go to my lake house just about every weekend, I can't. Just about every weekend during fishing season. It usually starts in May and goes to about August. So what I wanted to do was, and, and Scott did this as well, he invited a person, another professional angler, on his boat to fish with him. And they did a, a fishing challenge, okay? Let's see, let's see. Fish on tank ticks. What's up, man? How are you? Thank you for coming in, man. Hunting and stuff with Jane J. What's up, brother? Thank you for coming in, man. You said, hey, Ted. I don't know if you asked me a question or what. I don't know. But if you have a question, what's up? So he would invite uh, professional anglers on his boat with him, and they would go out, and they would have some stipulations, and they would both use, they would fish. And then at the end of the day, they would do their best fish or whatever and they, that was their challenge you had to beat scott martin well i'm going to do that where you have to beat me okay and i think it's really cool you don't it's nothing you know it doesn't cost anything to enter um it's friendly competition it's not, not crazy you know you know stipulations or anything like that it's not too serious but you know the competitive in all of the, com the competitiveness in all of us i think will drive an interest to people so what I'm doing is you got to beat Off the Hook Outdoors. You got to beat Ted from Off the Hook Outdoors in the Off the Hook Challenge. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put it out there. Hey, I'm going to be fishing Saturday. Mornings, afternoons, evenings, whatever. Who who wants to go one-on-one -on -one with me to fish? And it's going to be for bass only. And uh, we'll either determine the winner by weight, length, or total number of bass. 
Um, it's going to probably be for a time frame. I was thinking like a two hour time frame because we don't want to drag it out for four, five, six hours of fishing because I can get more, I think more people involved if I only do like a two hour session. So what it is, is I'm going to put it out there and hey, I'm fishing today. Does anybody want to, you know, want to go, you know, do the off the hook challenge with me and we'll get on and you have to be, uh, you have to use, be able to use live or uh, stream yard for live streaming. So you have to get signal where you're at. We're going to go live together on my channel for about two hours. That's going to be the session. But before we start, we're going to get together probably a half an hour before we start. So say we pick a time and that's what's going to happen too. When, I, when you want to fish against me, we're going to pick a time during the day. I'll make a thumbnail. I'll put it out there as an alert that I'm fishing with, say, uh, Joe Gary from G Joe Bait and Tackle or uh, hunting and stuff uh, wants to fish against me, okay? Well, I'll put it I'll put it out there saying, hey, I'm fishing against hunting and stuff for the off-the-hook challenge. See if he can beat Ted or see if he can beat us. Is he up to the challenge? Something like that. I'll make it kind of catchy so it's like, you know, no, no bad or uh, vulgar messages, nothing like that. It's just going to be, you know, fun. And um, so we're going to do that. We're going to pick it. We're going to talk about a half an hour before we start. We're going to go on. We're going to talk about what we're going to do. Uh, sometimes I may add a stipulation in there. We can decide on, hey, top water only, or we're just going to fish. Uh, and it doesn't matter. We can do fit. And if somebody wants a stipulation in there, like only spinning rods or only bait casting rods. And some people might not have a spinning rod or not have a bait casting rod. So there's a lot of uh, different stipulations that we can add in there to make it interesting. So we're going to get on about a half hour before we start. So say hunting and stuff says, yeah, I can fish in the morning with you at 10 o'clock. So we'll be like, okay, well, we'll get on a little bit before 10 o'clock. We'll explain the situation, what we're doing. And then we're going to go and we're going to fish. And we'll be live fishing against each other, one-on-one. -on -one. And then we're going to either decide if it's going to be weight. If not everybody has a scale. Not everybody has a bump board. We can do total fish as well, which is easy to do. So we can go by total fish that day. We can go by total weight. Or we can go by total inches. And you have to try to beat me in that time frame. And then I'll have a watch. We'll know, you know, we're fishing at 1 o'clock till 3 o'clock or whatever. Or we're fishing at noon to 2, something like that. So we're going to do that. And your goal is to try to beat me in whatever, cat, whatever we decide, whatever the stipulations are. And if you beat me, then you win a prize. And it's probably going to be from my apparel store or I'll have a prize already, you know, there. Uh, for you guys to win, whoever beats me that day gets the prize. And the prizes will change every time I do that. So... We're going to do that, and like I said, it doesn't cost anything to, to get into it. Um, the only thing I get if I win is bragging rights, and you get a chance to win a prize in bragging rights. Bragging rights. So I think that'll be really fun, and I think that'll get people out there and wanting to beat me, and of course the competitiveness in me is I'm going to want to beat you as well, but it's going to be a friendly competition. We'll get up on StreamYard. We'll do a live stream together fishing against each other for two hours and just watch, let the people watch and we may, it may develop into something, you know, a lot more than that. You know, we might start getting people like fan clubs with people against me and or with me and against the person that I'm fishing with or against me when who, you know, people wanting you to win, people wanting me to win. So I think it'll be fun. Uh, and so let me know what you guys think about that. I thought it was a great idea and I'm going to start doing that probably in May. Um, I'll put it out there and say, hey, you know, I'll be fishing this weekend. Who wants to, you know, who wants to take the challenge, the off the hook challenge, and fish with me for two hours and do that? So, Backwoods Boy, Small Engine. What's up, man? Thank you, man. I appreciate you. So, that is the two things, the two big things uh, that I'm going to be doing this year. There's another one that I did last year, and that's a bait making challenge. That's going to be uh, a household thing where you have to make baits in your house. Uh, you know, it's something from your house. Only live foods. You, I caught and tagged fish one year and went to the event. Won a small prize. It was awesome. Yeah, and that's, you know, like I said, it's it's going to be a friendly competition. You know, I'm sure people will get, I don't want to say angry, but, they, you know, it's competition. So, but I just figured I'd put it out there and you don't have to end, you know, pay anything. There's no entry fee or nothing. And it gives you a chance to win a prize if you beat me. And uh, we can learn from each other in the same sense. You know, I'm learning how people are fishing, what they're using. I may be learning tactics and tips and tricks from you guys. You may learn some tactics, tips and tricks. That's pretty much a tongue twister. 
tactics, tips, and tricks from me as well. So I think it works out for both. I think it'll be fun. It'll be interesting to watch. I'm trying to get people involved with the live streaming. And uh, yeah, learning from others is a great thing. I love doing that myself. So, uh, but yeah, I think that'll be great. You know what I mean? And uh, I think it'll be really interesting and uh, get people involved in watching. Uh, it may help your channel. It may help my channel, you know, with getting some growth and everything like that. So I think all in all, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good thing to do. And like I said, I have to give credit where credit is due. And that's, that was an idea I stole from Scott Martin, who has the Scott Martin challenge. I'm doing the off the hook challenge, but you're not really live on my boat. You're going to be live streaming, doing what you do. And also it's going to be, you can fish from the bank as well, or boat or kayak, canoe, whatever, any type of fishing. It's probably gonna be artificial only, uh, but if somebody texts me and says, hey, I only fish with live bait, but I wanna fish against you, I'll probably say yes and we can do it. You know, just to have fun. I don't, it doesn't matter to me how we fish as long as we're out there fishing together. You know what I mean? And that's the whole idea is to get sort of me being able to fish with you. Uh, but we can't do it in person all the time. So I figured if we do it live, if we stream it, it's, you know, better than not going fishing with somebody. So I think it's a really cool idea. So I'll be looking for your feedbacks on that. So that'll be cool. But live bait, I'll probably let that go too because I want everybody involved. So if you're fishing with live bait on a bank, I, that's fine with me. You know, we can fish. We'll do total weight, total fish, or total inches. You know what I mean? So I think it'll it'll work out really well and it'll be interesting and it'll help me get to know you guys and you get to know me a little better on a personal note. You know, we're fishing, hanging out, talking and things like that and people are watching us. And I'm sure there's going to be comments in there for people saying, hey, you know, they want me to lose and things like that. But that's the whole idea, just to have fun. So I hope you guys uh, like that idea. So that's where we're going to go with that. And then our, our uh, we have the the bait making contest, the off took bait making contest will be, you know, you got to use something, household items to make your baits. That'll be coming up probably June as well. Everything's happening in May and June, maybe July for that one. We'll go, you know, the whole month of July for the bait making uh, contest. So that's what's coming from Off the Hook Outdoors. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy my channel. Uh, I'm trying to just always, I always have my hands in the fire. Okay, Amanda, thank you so much. Bill Pav is my uncle. Yeah, Maddie, okay. Mateo, I know. Billy is your uncle. Bill is my cousin, so, yeah. But, yeah, man, I'd like to get Billy in on this, too. So tell your tell your uncle that I'm doing this. The challenge and sounds like, yeah, and it's, it, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it doesn't cost you anything to enter, and you get a chance to win a prize for doing it with me. You know, like, it's like a thank you. Like, hey, thank you. But if I beat you, I get bragging rights. But if you beat me, you get bragging rights and a prize. So everybody wins in it. You know, it's just like I just want to get people out there fishing, and I think that's a cool concept, whereas I can't fish with you personally, but I can just join. Don't know exactly what's happening. Okay, we're doing a fishing challenge. Mateo, and it's uh, going to be on a live stream where I fish against somebody. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing. And if you beat me, then you get a prize. If I beat you, I get the bragging rights. So that's going to be that. And then there is a one-bait challenge that I'm doing as well, me and uh, Small Water Charters. And you got to fish with the same bait as everybody else and make a video and uh, send it in, and then we vote on it. So that's what's happening, Mateo, just so you know. So, but yeah, I just think I, I like, I really like that concept. It's like me getting out with you guys and us fishing together because I can't drive all around the world because I have a family and friends. Now people come see me, I'll go see them every once in a while if I can, pretty close to home. But this gives us an opportunity to reach out to each other. You know, I could fish with somebody in Texas and Utah, wherever, and we can get together and sort of have a day of fishing together, you know? So I think that would be a really, really cool thing. Yeah, and get the young fishermen, I'll I'll go, you know, if the parents allow it, then if you want to come up and live stream with me and do it, that's fine. I just would, if it's anybody under 18, I'll probably have to get a, 
get an okay from your parents or something saying, yeah, I can go live with you and fish with you or something like that. I'll have to do something like that. I think YouTube likes that, and I prefer to do that anyway, get the parents' permission uh, to come on live with other people involved. It ain't just me. I'm not a bad guy, <laughs> but it's just other people in the lives. You don't, you know, some parents don't want people live streaming or their kids live streaming with people they don't know. So I understand all that, and I would feel the same way with my kids. But, uh, yeah, so we'll have to do something like that, like a little bit of a, an email back and forth saying that you have permission to do that so I can allow you up on the live stream with me. So definitely. So, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what my announcements were today. Um, I'm working on some baits from Rich from Owl's Nest Outdoors. If anybody hasn't checked that out, go, go over to Owl's Nest Outdoors and check out Rich. He makes some great baits, guys. If you're interested, he sells them now too. So if you're interested in buying any soft plastics, he makes baits just like me. He has a little bit different style than I do. And, uh, but his baits are unbelievable. So go over, check him out. I'm trying to do a collab with him. I'm hoping this Saturday, I'm saying, hoping everything works out and we can do that. I'm probably going to be going live Saturday, uh, evening at some point, making some baits, probably either if he's not on the live, I'll probably be making his baits that day, or I'll be making some other baits. Uh, I'll be doing some bait making videos coming out. I got to do a uh, review on my son's New View hunting outfit, and I have a backpack from New View hunting. Um, I ordered, I don't use, I won't use the New View hunting apparel myself because I am I just bought a ton of Sitka gear that I really, really like, and I've been wanting for years, and I finally got a chance to buy all my Sitka gear. So I promote Sitka gear, but the New View hunting has some great products out there as well. They're in the description of my videos as well. So you want to go check them out. Um, and that's about it, guys. Uh, if anybody has any questions or anything, please feel free. I'm going to stay on here for a couple more minutes, and then I'm probably going to end it because i got to take care of some stuff, some business here. So, um, you know, if anybody has any ideas or anything, you can let me know. If anybody wants to see anything, they can let me know as well. Um, I did premiere a video last night of Theo's PB Rainbow Trout. So if any of you have not seen that yet, Go over and check out the premiere last night that I did at 7 p.m. And then also related to that video is I did two lives uh, when I was trout fishing. If you haven't seen the lives, go back and check out the lives. The one live, I actually dumped my camera into the water and actually my DJI start, stopped working. So these mics right here, these mics, they stopped working. I actually have another set. These is my, this is my backup set of the microphones. My other set was sent to DJI to fix, and I had to pay some money for that, and they're sending them back now. I should get them Saturday. We go. What's up, man? Crystal River, I might do some live fishing in the bay later. Cool, man. If, you're, if I'm available, I will definitely stop in. So, But we're doing the uh, one bait challenge with uh, Small Water Charters and myself. We're making a one bait challenge up. If you haven't heard about it, we go go back and listen to the uh, this live, and there, all the information is in there. And then also, we're gonna do. I'm doing a uh, off the hook challenge where you got to fish against me one on one on the live stream. And if you win, you win a prize. And if you don't win, I get bragging rights. So uh, we're gonna do that. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, and then we do a bait making uh, challenge as well uh, with all household items to make your own baits for uh, a video. So the one bait challenge is going to be make your video. We're going to pick a bait. We're going to send it. Okay, man. Thanks, Crossover. Appreciate you. You guys haven't hit that like button. Please do so. So uh, we're going to be doing that. So a lot of stuff coming up. If you just are getting in here, if you have missed it all, go back and watch this live and you'll get all the information. If anybody has any questions or anything you can email me at Ted Polonowski Jr. at gmail.com and uh, email me and we can talk about it but yeah I think it's going to be fun it'll give me a chance to fish with you guys and people can watch us fish together and we can learn from each other so all right guys well that being said that's it man I'm going to I'm going to head out of here uh, so thank you all for coming in I appreciate you if you haven't been if you're not subscribed please consider doing so uh, and make sure you hit all notifications to all put your notifications to all uh, so you can be notified whenever I upload and do things like this and contests and giveaways and things like that. And like I always say, take a kid fishing or hunting. We want to preserve that sport and pass it on to future generations. And we will see you.